industry or the Ghanaian people, no, and yeah, Juma, like we've not really focused or in paying for now, haven't really focused or paid attention to that sector yet, and that's a, a, a big revenue generating like aspect for the government. Number one, because I did about the part, number one, yeah, it was a government to do to me, but boy. Well, they are yeah, and they say we are putting Ghana on the map. So they are buying a bit me a yeah, boy and they say they should push the agenda more so that we can push this thing to the next level. Mm. But feeling me and you said they be on they will be we will they will, they will create a, 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 a events and then we will go and be you know create excitement and then be a point of tourism for a lot of people and then we won't get no like mm. recognition or like help or support or no partnership and stuff from the government i, I don't didn't, know i didn't see you uh so many african countries are uh, almost yeah afro like they love the afro joints they uh, the afro beat you know the idea the but the bia yeah yeah got a four year comparison but now i'm going to compare a uh, year nigerians why oh it's because um you know, Ghana, Ghana and in Nigeria are doing home to that to that level. Uh -huh. It's love. Yeah, it's love. And it's a healthy it's a healthy competition. Healthy one. A very, very healthy competition. That's what's it's been pushing us to that level. Yeah. Yeah, you're lazy with Ghana Hana. I I wouldn't say I, I I would say that. And then I also say it's the quality of living, like yeah, very comfortable. Yeah, very comfortable yeah, with Ghana has so it has affected our decision making in your money be saying things that maybe it will take you be a week to do you know it might take us like a couple of years or months mm. that's the only thing but we we we, we are doing our best and we are, Ghanaians are really